Hello there, my fellow myth and fantasy nerds. My name is Tanner, and I'd like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Ah, October. The leaves are changing color. The air is getting nice and crisp. I'm breaking out the sweaters and the cardigans. Not to mention that spooky season is upon us. So this week's video will be number six in my series, where I talk about my multi-class D&D characters that I created. In the last video of this series, link to the playlist up in the cards and in the description down below, I talked about Soren Glodane, the Ozimar Barglock, whereas in this video I will not be talking about yet another Barglock multi-class character, but instead I will be talking about a Druidlock multi-class character. So as always, please make sure to leave a like on this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Pretty please! It'll help me make more content for you! And without further ado, allow me to present to you the story of Lucian Dragonfire. As a young Osmar child, Lucian lived in a secluded druidic village, hidden deep in the forest, undisturbed for centuries. In those days, the village was made up entirely of druids, of many different lineages, creeds, and druidic circles, all working and living together in harmony with each other and with nature herself. Growing up, Lucian loved to play with all the little druidic children, and he especially loved to wander into the woods by himself. In fact, he was wandering the forest that fateful day. He was having some alone time, hiking the hidden trails and communing with nature, when he heard the sound of terrified screams. Lucian ran as fast as his little child legs could carry him, until he stumbled upon his village, or rather, what was left of it. Oh, horror of horrors! The village was completely devastated. The work of a rampaging, frost-breathing white dragon. Lucian could only stand and watch as the dragon further destroyed the village, turning it into a frozen waste. Soon enough, the dragon turned towards him and he closed his eyes, waiting for the chilling, inevitable end. The dragon approached and sniffed at him. Once, twice, three times it sniffed. Then, for some reason Lucian has yet to understand, the dragon turned around and trundled off through the woods, leaving Lucian standing in the frozen ruins of his village. The memory of that day still haunts him, and that day Lucian vowed that he would find that dragon and avenge his village. A few days later, Lucian had a dream, a dream in which he found himself in a desert lit by a perpetual sunrise, and standing in front of him, there was a majestic bird, wreathed in flames and wearing a flaming golden disc on top of its head. Do not be afraid, the bird spoke to Lucian. I am Benu, Celestial Lord of Renewal. I have heard your cries and have heeded your calls. He offered Lucian a pact, magic and justice for his village in exchange simply for good and noble deeds. Lucian gladly took the offer that very moment, and has wandered the world searching for the dragon who destroyed his village ever since. Wow! Such drama! Such 
tragedy. Lucian is an Ozimar druid lock, specifically a circle of wildfire druid celestial patron warlock. I had a difficult time coming up with a celestial patron that matched his wildfire druid circle, but then I thought of phoenixes, and specifically the ancient Egyptian Bennu, who became the inspiration for Lucian's patron. As for the fire theme, I imagine that since white dragon breath is frost rather than fire, I figured that Lucian would take on a fiery subclass to combat the ice. Now, similar to Aelin, I imagine that when they made their pact, Bennu turned Lucian's druidic focus, a staff made from a piece of charred wood with phoenix feathers tied to it, into his arcane focus for his warlock spells, as well as his druid spells. Now, like with every other Warlock multiclass character, I like to imagine Lucian taking Pact to the Tome when he reaches the right Warlock level. What can I say? I like the idea of a magic book that grants you extra spells. Now, I specifically like to imagine it taking the form of a reddish-orange book with golden edges, a golden Ankh symbol on the front cover, and the spells written in the Celestial Language. Now, before I get to his stats, there's one more bit of flavor I want to talk about. You see, because Lucian is a circle of wildfire druid specifically, one of the features he gets is called Summon Wildfire Spirit, which basically does what it says on the tin. In this case, Lucian named his wildfire spirit Forge, and I like to imagine that, when out of battle, he takes the form of a pseudo-dragon, which is essentially a house cat-sized creature related to dragons but isn't a true dragon, with a flaming head crest, fiery wings, and a burning tail. However, when Lucian uses him in battle, Forge becomes a full-sized, flame-wreathed dragon. What can I say? A dragon of fire has got to be enough to beat a dragon of frost, am I right? As for his stats, after I calculated the bonuses he gets from his Ozimar lineage, Lucian's highest score is his Charisma, at 18, whereas his worst score is again his Strength, at 12. Which, all things considered, isn't actually that bad of a Strength score. And there we have it. That was Lucian Dragonfire, the Azamar Druid Lock. If you liked this video and you want more, please consider leaving a like and subscribing down below so you don't miss any new content from me. So what did you think of Lucian? Did you like his story? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any other ideas that you want to see in any future videos, please leave those suggestions in the comments as well. Who knows? It might just happen. Alright. Well, that's all the time I have for this video, so I'll see you all next week with part 7 of this series, where I will be talking about the 7th multi-class character, who I basically built from the background up. See you guys then.